Now in hour 18, an exclusive look at a major breakthrough in coronavirus testing. On a day, Illinois set a new record, testing more than 51,000 people. A day when those people are being told to wait four to seven days for their results. We traveled down to the U of I to witness for ourselves students and staff get tested and get results in three to four hours. A saliva test that could be a game changer. Tonight, CBS 2's Chris Ty on the U of I campus in Urbana-Champaign. Before this week is up, they will conduct 70,000 COVID-19 tests here at U of I in tents like the one behind me. They say they are faster, they are less painful, and they get results much more quickly. And soon, these tests are going to be going mobile. No, I haven't. People moving through at a rate of one per minute. They're swiping and spitting at 40 COVID test tents around the U of I campus. It's a little bit hard to get all that spit out. They drool into plastic containers with their personal identifiers on them. And once there's enough saliva, every hour on the hour, they're collected every 60 minutes. Every hour on the hour, a driver comes, picks up those samples. They're taken here to a lab inside the converted U of I Veterinary Hospital. The saliva is heated to over 200 degrees, and then the results come fast. That whole process in the lab takes about two hours. Fast, cheap, and reliable. Since saliva tests started the week of July 4th here, positivity rates have dropped from 1.5% to 0.2% today. Testing allows for isolating, particularly for those who don't know they're transmitting. And U of I is just the start. There's also a mobile version of this where there's labs that are going to be on a truck that will literally drive to and serve those communities. So the first truck is supposed to launch in early September. Dr. Paul Hergenrother has been working around the clock since April to devise the first of its kind test, which received FDA emergency approval this week. The test isn't proprietary, so other institutions can replicate it and they've been eager to do just that. I've probably talked to, you know, close to, to uh, over 30 universities at this point, trying to help them set up analogous processes. Food processing plants and elder care facilities also anxious to try new testing approaches themselves. I'm super happy that the school is taking these precautions uh, to see how COVID is going to spread. Peace of mind for the student body starting Monday, but for everybody else, the clamoring effort to replicate the saliva tests in Champaign getting louder every hour since their approach was first made public. It's been uh, kind of nonstop ever since. 1,832 new cases in the state today. Here at U of I, each student and faculty member needs to be tested twice a week at tents like this before they're allowed to continue on with their educational day. Brad, school leaders say that's a small price to pay to keep the campus safe. Yeah, the Chris, they might be setting the standard down there. Now, the NBA uses a saliva test as well. How is this one different from that one? Yeah, their methods, their metrics are different here at U of I. And one thing they feel that they have working in their favor that Yale doesn't, Yale doesn't have a full campus up and running right now. U of I essentially does and will have more come Monday. So they have more people, more testing. It gives them a better ability to scale this thing out and they think a better ability to replicate it in places around the state. It's what the president of the university calls rocket fuel and what Governor Pritzker calls a game changer. All right, and the NBA using that Yale test right now. Could be a game changer. Chris Ty at the U of I, thank you.